Tixell Estate was purchased in 1825 by Viscount Ingestry, heir to the Earl of Shrewsbury, whose seat was the nearby Ingestry Hall. Tixell Hall fell into disuse after the First World War and apart from its fine Georgian crescent stables and the gatehouse, it was demolished by the estate in 1927. Tixell Gatehouse was built around 1580 and is one of the earliest examples of the Greek Revival architecture in England. Its builder, Sir Walter Aston, was so besotted with this fashionable structure that he had it constructed in a position close to the house, blocking the views across the picturesque valley beyond. The back of the gatehouse mirrors the front and was separated from the house by a wall, all of which formed a courtyard. There are three storeys topped by an open balustrade and at each of the four corners there's an octagonal tower topped with a stylish cupola and gilded weather vane that takes the structure up to approximately 60 feet in height. At the centre of the building there's an open archway that allowed carriages entrance to the enclosed courtyard and on either side were porters rooms with servants apartments above accessed by a spiral stone staircase in one of the towers. The large windows are flanked by coupled columns, Doric on the ground floor, Ionic on the second and Corinthian on the third. In August 1586, the gatehouse received a reluctant royal visitor. Mary Queen of Scots had been sent from Tutbury Castle to Chartley in December 1585. It was while she was at Chartley that a careful plan to incriminate her was formulated and set in motion. A secret plotting with foreign Catholics were conducted by coded messages smuggled in beer barrels by her confidant John Gifford. Unfortunately for Mary, Gifford, a Staffordian, was acting as a double agent for Sir Francis Walsingham, the principal secretary to Queen Elizabeth I. When English plotters led by Babington proposed foreign invasion, the release of Mary and the assassination of Queen Elizabeth, Mary agreed. Soon after the plotters were arrested and incarcerated in the tower, and Mary was arrested while deer hunting on nearby Cannock Chase. She was taken to Tixall and her rooms at Chartley were searched and most of her possessions confiscated. She was imprisoned at Tixall for two weeks after which she was ordered back to Chartley. It is said that on leaving the gatehouse, a touching sight met her eyes. Beggars of Staffordshire are gathered to greet her, knowing her famous reputation for charity. As the beggars cried out for alms, the Queen of Scots was said to reply, I have nothing for you. I am a beggar as well as you. All is taken from me. Soon afterwards, Mary was taken to Fotheringay Castle in Northamptonshire, where she was tried and subsequently beheaded on the 8th of February 1587. Over time, Tixall Hall had been renovated, knocked down, rebuilt and finally demolished. Yet, as all around it had changed and fell, the gatehouse survived. However, it too had come dangerously close to dereliction at the point it was purchased by the Landmark Trust in 1968 as an Elizabethan ruin without roof, floors or windows 
and was being used as a shelter for cattle. It took years for the Trust to raise funds to pay for the restoration, but the restoration work finally began in 1975, taking two years to complete. The Tixel Gatehouse now sits proudly in grounds that were fashioned by Capability Brown and is now run by the Trust as a holiday let for up to six lucky people.